Hello and welcome back to another time-lapse build in Valheim and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this main tower and gatehouse having only just accessed core and fine wood. Let's get into it. First, I find a good defensive spot that's surrounded by trees. I've chosen this spot due to the cliff being easily defendable, whilst also being close to the black forest for ores and core wood, and close to a dock as well. At this point I've moved on to the planning phase. This will eventually be a Mott and Bailey style palisade castle. If you want to see this develop through my time lapse series, then be sure to subscribe as we'll be covering each section individually. I've chosen to have two main gates. The cliff side will be a more defensive style gate, which we are doing today, and we'll also have a decorative gate on the opposite side. The keep and Viking longhouse will appear on the Mott, and we shall also have a barracks, meadery, church, and storage building located along the Bailey walls. First you can see me here leveling the cliff side to work on and clearing it of any objects that we currently have there. Once done, I lay the foundations of the main tower and once set, raise the ground so that it supports the whole lower floor. Here I move on to placing the supports. As I have not unlocked iron supports or stone walls, I've opted to fill the inner section with dirt using the hoe to reinforce the structure, allowing us to build higher. And I follow the outer line of the build with small floor planks, then cover the inside with planks all facing the same direction for a cleaner look. After this, it's a case of repeating the lower level, and before adding a third tier, adding supporting beams and the outer walls. There will be several entrances for this particular tower, but only two main doors on the lower side. There'll be one door to the lower wall, and there'll also be a main door which faces into the bailey. I then start building upwards, but unfortunately the rain catches me off guard without a roof. Now I do recommend adding a roof as soon as possible, as it is a lot of work to fix. Now my roof will be sloped with a low wall for archer access, and I at this point add a little roof for a fireplace. However, I must admit this may have been patched as I haven't been able to place another fire pit on core wood ever since this. Once roofed, I then plan for the rest of the gatehouse as well as a section of the outer wall and pave it out so I know where I'm going to be working along. At this point, we follow the previous system. I create the gate wall, placing the foundations and building up from the grid that I set with the tower. And at this point, I cover the wall with a thatched roof and I want to repeat the tower that we've just done on the opposite side. However, I'm running low on core wood, so we'll do a simple small tower for the time being and maybe change it at a later date. Moving on to the inner part of the walls, we add some murder slots so that we can take out anyone who's trying to get in, and then we add a bit of decoration for the actual gates themselves. Perfect. As you can see, we've added some outer palisade walls. We'll hopefully do this around the whole thing. And we will also add some torches in there just so that we can see who we're going to try and be shooting at. It's just a bit of decoration that can go a long way, and I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. At this point, I've extended more or less how far I want to go for the next part of the tower, and then we'll push slightly into the wall and then close it off for this build. I repeat the whole process once again, and whenever we have an outcrop of a, a particular floor, we always run the beams like we did in the tower around the outside first and then all the beams the same way for the second part. We then scale this up and at this point I wanted to add a little fireplace at the top similar to how we did before as you can see I've added it above 
And the idea is this is a little beacon house. We then push forwards and I start to work on the roofs for the main hall that goes above the gatehouse. And at this point, we're going to look at doing the more detailed parts of the build. Moving into the above part of the wall, we can already see how I've worked on some of the crenellations. We're going to add a little banner for walking up these stairs. And once we've done this, I work on the crenellations on the other side of the wall with small planks. I place them manually and then delete the inner block. I then wanted to add a little bit of decoration to the walls so you can see we've added these zigzags along the top and underneath we're now going to add the defensive height so that people can't just walk underneath it. As this is going to require a lot of stone, what I've also decided to do is pick out underneath. This is going to add to our defensive measures and it's also going to give us the stone we need in order to grow this up a little more. You can then see I've added a little bit of decoration to the front and we're going to do the shelter to the front entrance in the Bailey section. Now, unfortunately it didn't turn out how I planned so I've just ended up going for a simple sheltered roof. We then add the rest of the torches to the area and then add stakes to the outside. And I even add a bit of dirt on top of them to make them fit into the build a little more. But that's all we have time for in this episode. If you did like the way the gatehouse looks, then be sure to hit the thumbs up. And obviously if you want to watch more of my series on this castle, then be sure to hit the subscribe button as I intend to do one of these each week. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and special thanks does go to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, Bo Papa, Trebor and JP Zone TV, as well as our Lunar Eclipse patrons, Matt Lippard, Chris McCabe and Lord of July, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, Jimmy Rogers. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching and as always, ciao for now.